The basic features of IN5 are those that you would expect from an EPUB or Publish Online export. So they're all the things that are found in InDesign. So here I have the tour document, which is something that opens up after you install IN5 and restart InDesign, including when you're running the trial. So there is uh, page navigation, like this next page. There's animation on this item using the uh, animations panel here. If I scroll down through this document, you can see there's a table of contents generated by InDesign. That works, including all the links in the output. I'll scroll down. There is a video, uh, all the controls in the media panel. Plus, I'll show you in another video. You can get additional control of this using the interactive widgets. And just continuing to scroll, embedded HTML. There's animation buttons on here. This is radio buttons in the output, so you can you click one of these and it deselects all the other ones. This is a, a fancy version of a checkbox. All of these work in any plan with N5. Down here is a multi-state object. So this will this t-shirt will change colors based on object states. And these buttons have rollovers. These buttons do back and next. All of that works in any N5 plan. These are all part of the basic features. I'll show you in another video the interactive widgets that's supported on here, that particular interactive widget. Liquid layout. Let's go to the export panel. So there's an easy export wizard that makes it really easy. I'll show you. You just select the type of document that you want to export, and you go from there. It's a, like two steps, and you're exporting. There is a more sophisticated export. You can get to that by clicking Advanced here, or you can get to it by going to the In5 menu and saying Export HTML5 within 5. Within this dialog, there are only a few things that aren't part of the basic features, so I'll draw special attention to those. You name the document, you choose where you export, you can choose a page range. Now, there is a gold feature that is to export alternate layouts as responsive layouts. That's not part of the basic features. Under the page formats, there are a lot of different page formats you can use. All of them are available except Flipbook with Page Peel. That is a pro feature. Otherwise, those are all available to basic. The different text renderings are all available. The different output formats to web apps or Google Ads are all available. All the control of the backgrounds for the page and the document, those are available. Uh, SEO and metadata for search engines all available. You can easily add Google Analytics and social sharing options. Those are part of the basic features. The viewer display is not part of the basic features. That's a pro feature. We'll show that in a different video. The resources, the ability to add custom CSS, JavaScript, or HTML, or external PDFs that you want to link to. This is all part of the basic features. And the advanced window, there's only one item that is not part of the basic features, and that is the image optimization. You need a higher level plan to access the image optimization. One last thing, down here at the bottom are export presets. Those are only available to a pro plan or higher. Those are not part of the basic features. So you can see there's quite a bit, but there are some really nifty things that are not part of the basic features. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the basic features. You can look at some of the other feature videos to see which plan might be a good fit for you.